It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood, a neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Tibbetts Physics. What? is crapping in. Today we are going to look at projectiles launched at angles and we're going to do some problems with real numbers versus just variables. Question 1. A small missile is fired with a velocity of 300 meters per second at an angle 30 degrees with the ground and returns to ground level. We're going to neglect air resistance. For all these problems we're going to neglect air resistance. No matter what the question asks, the first thing we want to do automatically is determine the initial horizontal and vertical velocities. The velocity they give us is the resultant velocity. That's the velocity it leaves the projectile at. So we have VI is 300 meters per second. The angle we're told is 30 degrees. What we want to do is find the horizontal component, VIX, we can call it. Let's make that look like an X. And the vertical component, VIY. So how fast is it going horizontally? How fast is it going vertically? We're going to use the formulas, AY is A sine theta, and AX equals A cosine theta, but replace the A's with V's. Vix, the horizontal velocity, is equal to Vi cosine theta. Vix equals 300 meters per second times the cosine of 30 degrees. Make sure we're in degrees in our calculators. And we get Vix to be 260 meters per second. That's the initial horizontal velocity. Let's find the initial vertical velocity. Similar formula. I'm going to write outside of the paper, sorry. Hopefully you have more space than I do. I'm writing smaller. VIY is equal to VI sine of theta. VIY is still 300 meters per second times the sine of 30 degrees. Again, make sure we're in degrees in our calculators. Obviously, it wouldn't change unless you did this math in between. And we get 150 meters per second for our initial vertical velocity. Now that we have our VIs in the horizontal and vertical direction, let's look at the vertical chart that we have or one that we'll make, we'll make in the future. In this case, we know the velocity going up in the vertical direction is 150 meters per second. The velocity at the top is 0 meters per second. The acceleration due to gravity, negative 9.81 meters per second squared. When the object goes down, sorry, the, velo the initial velocity, so it's, when it's going from the top to the bottom, VI is 0 meters per second. That's at the highest point. Vf is negative the initial vertical velocity, negative 150 meters per second. The acceleration is still negative 9.81 meters per second squared. Now that we have our knowns filled out in the chart, we can answer the rest of the questions. Letter B asks us how high does it go, or the maximum height. That's in the vertical direction. When it goes up vertically, we know VI, VF, A, and we're finding D. 
the formula we'll use for that is vfy squared equals viy squared plus 2ad. At the top, vf is 0, so that goes away. Let's subtract viy squared to the other side, and then divide by 2a. Sorry, that should be d sub y. That leaves us with d sub y, so you get the negative viy squared over 2a. We'll plug in our values. The negative goes on the outside of our parentheses. We use our initial vertical velocity, 150 meters per second squared, all over 2 times negative 9.81 meters per second squared. If you're doing this at once in your calculator, sorry about that. If you're doing this all at once in your calculator, I would put an extra set of parentheses around the 2 and then close the one around the 9.81. This way we're dividing by both of these numbers that are being multiplied together. Plug and chug, and we get a max height to be 1,147 meters. Let's go up to our chart. The maximum height, 1,147 meters. It's going to go down 1,147 meters. And if we were to double that to get the um, total distance, I don't have that calculation done, and I can't do it in my head. Under all this pressure, 1,147 times 2 gives us 2,294 meters. So that's the total distance it traveled. Please not bother me. I'm teaching right now. Yes. Okay. Whatever. Bye. Sorry. That was my wife. Letter C. How long is the missile in the air for? Let's calculate the time to get to the top. And then to get the total time, we could just double it. So letter C, we want to find the time to the top. Let's use VI, VF, A, and T. The formula that has all those is VFY equals VIY plus AT. VF is 0. Subtract VIY and divide by A. That gives us the time to the top is negative VIY over A. Time to the top equals, again, use our vertical velocity, negative 150 meters per second over negative 9.81 meters per second squared. Just the units are squared. And we get the time to the top to be 15.3 um, seconds. So that's not the answer to the question. Let's fill in our charts. 15.3 to go up. 15.3 seconds to go down, double it to get the total time, that's 30.6 seconds. So the answer to letter C, 30.6 seconds. We did A, we did B, we did C. Letter D, what is the missile's final vertical velocity? Well, we already calculated it. It's negative 150 meters per second. It's negative the initial vertical velocity. Letter E, determine the objects, uh, determine the horizontal range of the missile, sorry. The horizontal range that's in the horizontal direction, the one formula we know horizontally is V sub X equals D sub X over T. We'll multiply both sides by the time to get the distance by itself. So D sub X is VX times T. We'll plug in our initial horizontal velocity, that's 260 meters per second. And the time, we have to use the total time, which is 30.6 seconds. Plug and chug. 
we get a horizontal distance of 7,956 meters. And that's our horizontal distance. Lastly, letter F, what is the missile's final horizontal velocity? Horizontally, the velocity does not change its constant. So our VF is um, 260 meters per second. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya!